beautiful people and welcome to salon chat yes honey yes i am back i hope everybody's new year so far has been great um so today we're going to talk about your relationship now i'm not talking about your personal relationship i'm talking about your relationship with your hairstylist. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because we have those. We have, we begin to develop relationships. And why why is this important? Well, I'm gonna tell you why. Okay. It's important because when you have a stylist that is doing your hair. That is the time, you you know, you're, it's your time to get pampered. So you're trusting this person that is doing your hair, that they are doing the best that they can and that they are doing what is best for your hair. Okay, with that being said, when the relationship fully develops from the first time you go to your hairstylist to... Forever times, <laughs> you know, we stay with stylists forever. And I say we, because sometimes I can be a client. Although I'm a hairstylist, sometimes someone else does my hair as well. So I become a client too. And the person that does my hair, which Pauline, which you all know, um, I trust her with my hair, right? So that means from the time that I met her and I started allowing her to do my hair, that means I had to have some type of trust and it has developed and grown into a full relationship or a friendship. And that's what happens with these relationships with client stylists. You become friends. You you trust the person doing your hair, right? Okay. So now that we've developed that relationship and most people stay with their stylist for many, many years, you know, um, but there's a time when some, some clients feel like that their stylist is not doing a good job, but not realizing that there may be some changes going on within them. Now, when we go to our stylist, your, your stylist is your person. And when I say your person, that is the person that is, you're, you know, you're going to share everything with. So sometimes you cry with that person. Sometimes you laugh with that person. You know, you, you just kind of share everything with that person. And the stylist becomes your, your minister, your, your counselor or, or psychiatrist, so to speak. Um, your, every, your friend. You know, almost like your best friend when you go to your stylist, because you know that when you go to your stylist, that you can trust your stylist with the things that you share with them. So if you can trust your stylist with the things that you say to them, why aren't you fully trusting your stylist with your hair? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Why are you not allowing your stylist to do what is best? for your hair, mm -hmm. but you trust them. You trust your stylist with everything else. When you're sad, when you're happy, you you have a new grandbaby or you've had a baby yourself and, and you trust your stylist with that, but you don't trust your stylist with your hair. Hmm, something to think about, right? I'm gonna let you sit on that for a second. Mm-hmm, yes. And I said that because this is what happens. People begin to think that the stylist is doing something. Now, I will say not all stylists are good stylists. I'll, I'll say that. But for the most part, you have some very good stylists out there. And the stylist that is into healthy hair, the integrity of the hair and scalp, making sure that nothing is going on with your hair. And if something is going on with your hair, they're going to tell you. So if you begin to have shedding, if you um, begin, if your stylist begins to see breakage, um, you know, if anything that changes in your hair and, and your hair has been great with the stylist all this time and then all of a sudden there's a change. So you begin to think that it's your stylist. 
but your stylist has already told you X, Y, and Z needs to happen. You may need to cut your hair. You may need to uh, have a treatment. Um, you know, many different things. And then when your stylist asks you, hey, I'm noticing some changes in your hair. What's going on? And you're not truthful. And that doesn't help us as the hairstylist because as cosmetologists, we are trained to notice different things in the hair, eczema, because these are, you know, you have to remember your scalp is your skin, is the same skin that's all over your body. So your scalp is skin. So if you have eczema on your scalp, I mean, on your skin, nine times out of 10 is going to be on the scalp too. If you have psoriasis on your skin, because the scalp again is skin, nine times out of 10, you're gonna have it in your hair. If your skin is just plain old dry because you're not hydrating it enough with water, you're not getting enough water in your body, then what do you think is gonna happen to your scalp? Right, your scalp is going to be dry. Therefore, that's gonna cause other things to go on with your hair. So we have to be mindful about what's going on with us. So when the stylist is asking you, hey, has something changed in your life? We're not asking to be nosy. We're not trying to be all up in your business. Although you share stuff with us, we're not asking if something is going on because we wanna know what's going on in your personal life. We're not being nosy. We're asking because we're seeing changes in the hair or in the scalp, which go, leads on to the hair. So if you're not being truthful and you say, hmm, no, nothing's changed, but we can clearly tell there's a change going on, whether it's stress from work or a personal situation, whether you're on medication and you don't wanna say you're on medication, but that affects the hair. We know if we put a chemical in your hair, we know, and it has a bad reaction after we've put the chemical in your hair, we know something happened. Something different is going on in your system. And, and when I say system, in your body, something different is going on. So we already know whether you're truthful or not, you know, and if you, if we're saying, um, what has changed. That's just us asking so that we know how to better service you, you the client. We need to be able to better service you. We want you to have healthy, beautiful hair, the hair that everybody wants. And also understand that as you get older, your hair is not going to be like it was when you was 18, 19, and 20. Things change. You know, we all have different lifestyle changes that go on throughout every segment of our life. And as you get older, things change. You have hormonal changes, you know, any more stresses, things change. When you're pregnant, things change because of the hormone change. When you give birth, is you're still hormonal. Your hormones are trying to get back together. So your hair is not going to be the same. You know, sometimes after giving birth, the hair sheds or breaks out or falls out completely sometimes after giving birth. So you need to share these things with us. When we ask, is something going on? That's not a saying, girl, we want to know all your business. No, 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 no. That is us saying, hmm, something's going on in this person's life. Something has changed in this person's life that their hair is breaking. Their hair is falling out. Many different things. Whether If you've been diagnosed with something, for example, um, lupus, and then you may have some alopecia and sometimes alopecia is hereditary different types of alopecia you know so there is a shift in what is going on with your hair when something takes place in your life and if you don't share that with us when we say hey what's going on 
we're, we're not trying to be nosy. So please don't tell us, oh, I'm a private person. I don't, I, I don't really talk about what's going on. But you've told your, your stylist everything else. But now you don't want to share with them what's going on with your hair after we've asked. Hmm. That is not right. So when we ask you these things, we're just trying to get a sense of how we can help you and why your hair is doing what it's doing so that we know all the things we need to do so that you can continue to have beautiful hair. And if we need to cut and start over, sometimes that is what needs to be done so that you can reset, get your hair back in order. So don't look at those things as us, oh, we just want to cut your hair off or we just want to um do an extra service. No, so that we can make more money. No, 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 no. We wouldn't be doing our job if we did not tell you and ask you these questions and say, hey, this needs to be done. Something has changed because this wasn't going on before. You know, we wouldn't be doing our job. And that if some if your stylist doesn't ask you that, they're not doing their job. And that means that they do not care about your hair. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My clients know I'm very particular about what I do to their hair. I am going to ask questions and they know I want them to be honest. Now, not everybody is honest. So if you're not honest, that's on you. If you're not honest with your with your stylist and you ask them, I'll just say, for a color and you know you are on medication. Um, okay, so you're on medication your perimenopausal or menopausal. Those things interfere with chemicals. So you ask for a color and you know you have all of these things going on with you and your stylist asks you, um, is there anything I should know? Has anything changed before doing the color? And you say, no, everything is the same. Nothing's changed. Nothing's going on. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. We put the color in. And then maybe two weeks later, you experience some shedding. And then you come back and say, you broke my hair up. No, 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 no. You weren't honest. I asked you, are you on medication? What's going on? Has any lifestyle changes happened? And you said no. And then you come back and you say, you broke my hair off. And then after I say those same things to you again, oh yeah, well, I started this medication and this is going on. I asked you that to begin with. You should have been honest. And your stylist may have asked you these things and you aren't honest. Just as if it's new clients that are coming to us, and we ask you these same questions and we're going to go more in detail because we don't know you and and you're not being honest. Oh, no, the last style, I, I had to stop going to the last stylist because they didn't do this. And I noticed my hair wasn't getting this treatment and this, that, and the other. But the new stylist asks you several questions trying to get to know you, what your lifestyle is. Um, again, are you on any medications? Um, are you perimenopausal? Are you menopausal? Um, what is your stress level? All kinds of things. Do you exercise? What what are your um are you eating a, a healthy diet? Are you taking vitamins? I mean, just a whole slew of questions, and you say no, and then we do your hair, and you constantly you come back over and over again, and you're constantly complaining about your hair. It wasn't the other stylist. It's not the new stylist that you're going to. It's you. Yes, I said it. It's you. And you know why it's you? It's you because you weren't honest. So again, I say my, my clients, they know me. They know I have the best intentions for their hair. And I am going to do what I think is best as long as they're honest with me. And my clients are pretty much honest with me. So they know I'm going to do the best I can to make sure that their hair stays healthy. So the clients that listen to me, they end up with beautiful, healthy hair, even during the aging process, even when they're on medication, even when um, there's hormonal 
uh, uh, changes going on, even if they've had a baby. My clients, for the most part, are honest with me. I'm not going to say all, but most of my clients are honest with me. And therefore, my clients continue to have a healthy hair and scalp. And these are the things that you need to speak to your stylist about. And then we we also refer you to the doctor when we see something's going on. And because we are licensed and trained to notice when something's going on with the hair and scalp, we can't diagnose you. We're not a doctor. We're licensed through the state, yes, and we have taken classes and to um, recognize things going on, but we're not doctors. We can't diagnose you. So when we suggest, oh, maybe you should go see a dermatologist, please don't look at us crazy and say, oh, I, I, I mean, I never had this going on. Okay, but we're telling you to go to the dermatologist. It's your choice whether or not you go. But we're trying to take care of you and we're trying to help you and give you the best possible service and care for your hair as we possibly can. But we can only do that if you're honest. So I said we have relationships. We do. So because you you as the client has come to us for years and years and we have developed a relationship, a great relationship, again, where you tell us everything, and I do mean everything, we are baffled when we ask you a question and you're not honest with us because we thought that we had a great relationship, a trusting relationship where we're sharing. And if I can't share with you, with you about what's going on with your hair and you get upset, that's a problem, but you want to share everything else with me. So if, you, if you're saying that you and your stylist are friends, that's great, you know, because I, my, me and my clients are friends and my clients trust me and my cl clients trust me enough to know that when I tell them something is going on and you need to go see a doctor and sometimes I suggest, you know, ask them to run some of these tests, see if there's a deficiency, you might have a vitamin deficiency, um, but just ask them to run some lab tests, go see a dermatologist. My, try, my clients trust me enough to go do that. So when your stylist tells you that and you've been going to your stylist and you've developed a relationship with your stylist where you are coming to them and you're trusting them with personal information, why are you not trusting them that they are telling you something good or telling you something is going on with your hair? Why are you not trusting them when they tell you this? Why do you immediately get an attitude when they're telling you something to try to help you? Why are you coming and lying and saying, no, I'm not on medication, and then we find out a month later you are? Why are you not telling your stylist? These are things that your stylist needs to know. So with all of that being said, I hope that you guys have learned something from what I'm saying to you. Talk to your stylist. You trust your stylist already. You're friends with your stylist. You tell your stylist everything. So trust your stylist when he or she is telling you something is going on. Trust your stylist when your stylist is asking you what has changed in your life. It's not because your stylist is being nosy. No, they see something has changed and is showing in your hair. Trust your stylist when they are saying these things to you and asking these questions, okay? Because guess what? We love you and we only want you to have beautiful, healthy hair. So trust us when we are saying, hey, what's going on? There's a change. Don't just trust us with your personal information. Trust us with your hair because you have for so many years. And then when we tell you something else is going on or something has changed, trust us because we're seeing something. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something 
from this salon chat. I always try to bring you information that you could, you know, take away and, and think about, you know, so ponder on this for a little bit, okay? So remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you like the content I have, by all means, share, okay? And that is it for Salon Chat. Yes, honey, and I will see you next time. Bye.